Hello viewers, it's Super GT here, and have you ever wondered what you get if you mix Mario Kart with Forza? Well, wonder no longer, because here we are. It's the YMTV inaugural Mario Kart event. And what we're doing, we're all going to be driving in the Formula Mazda. So it's pretty much a big go-kart. You can just about see it on the screen there. And we're going to have a load of shells. So we have the green shell, blue shell, red shell. And they're going to be going around trying to wipe us out. And it's going to make for some very interesting and funny racing. So here we are. This is the first of two videos. So this, this is the first one at Test Track. And so I'm starting mid-grid. I mean, the grid slot doesn't matter too much. Because it's all just going to kick off in just a moment. And for the first few laps, we are free just to go and race. I mean, there's no rules, really. We can smash each other off and drive the wrong way if we want, but we probably wouldn't win if we did that. We can, uh, yeah, smash each other off. You see already the chaos has begun behind me as we come through the fast tunnel section. People are already crashing. And coming through here, yes, more, more people collect. I've just tried to go for that gap. That guy's done a 900 spin. A couple more people on the wall, but we are away in fourth place which is a good and there you go there's there's a big there's one of the um the set pieces shall we say so thwomp is the limo and he can just position himself on every lap and just try to block the road and quite funnily he's the color of the car is kind of the color of the tarmac so he can be difficult to see if you're not paying attention so we've got that obstacle to deal with and we're going to skip to lap number three because um not too much was happening at the beginning as um, basically what happened on lap three is as we just go past the limo who's just blocking the road there. As we just go past the green shell there, a GMC Cyclone. So he's got tons of power, but he's got drag tyres on. So he basically just cannot handle that thing. And so we've got tons of power. We're going to go around this corner just behind JSR Rossi. As we just look behind you, I think. And you see the Cyclone go flying into the wall. And now he's coming for us. That thing is maxed out on power but no handling at all. So I'm just going to brake before he goes flying into me and he just misses. And then the blue car there, you can see, that is the blue shell. So the blue shell basically aims for the leader and just keeps wiping out the leader, whoever that is. And so sometimes it's not a good idea to be in the lead like I am right now. So here comes the blue shell and he's just going to completely kill me. So that's death number one. And now Jess O'Rossi has taken the lead. So he'll be uh, in the firing line. The limo's there in the way. Thankfully, he's fairly wide here, though. So just managing to get through quite easily. We're going to move to lap number four. Coming into the final turn. Plenty of carnage on the inside and again on the outside. I think uh, AMS Swift there falling victim to the blue shell. We do have another shell, which is going to come into play in just a moment. But we will see. I'm in the lead. But this is kind of a weird situation here where, where no one wants to go into the lead because they're going to get wiped out so I'm just slowing down here let someone else go into the lead so they can get wiped out bit of, uh, bit of contact Jess R. Ross is the one to brave it and they go into the first turn he just gets completely obliterated and he dies for about the 8th time in this race this is only lap 5 I mean we've got another 13, 14 laps of this so he's going to go on for a fair amount of time and there goes the blue shell the blue shell is well, I mean, let's just just talk about that for a second. I think there's a limo blocking the blocking the way. <laughs> the blue shell got involved as well, and it all kicked off in the tunnel. So the blue shell there is the Ferrari 641. So it's pretty much the quickest car in the game. So he can catch up with the leader very quickly indeed, and do his job of causing as much carnage as possible. GCR Ted here. I'm just going to go for a cheeky little wipeout on him absolutely ruthless from Super GT Savage AF absolutely killed him but I'm sure that um, he's going to be remembered by Ted and probably come back to haunt me near the end you can see here just how close the racing is if you look on the map just how close it is between the top drivers that's the good thing about the blue shell he kind of neutralises he kind of makes the race really close because whoever goes in the lead gets killed basically and then everyone else can catch up so it makes the racing very close and competitive and actually you want to be on the last lap you don't really want to be in the lead because you're going to get killed and uh, guy in second place will take over so there is a matter of tactical timing there is an element of that in this in this mode it is mostly it is a lot of luck though to be fair 
but there is an element of tactics too. So we just really ideally want to be in a good position in the final lap. So let's say about the second or third as we go on to the final lap. That would be a decent place to be. Cyclone there, the green shell. They're just giving him a wide berth. Don't really want to go anywhere near him because he's basically out of control. So he has no rules. He just drives around, hits anyone who is in his way. As you see, they just, well, blue shell just coming across and uh, wiping that guy out. And then I just got kind of shimmied off to the side, going back down to seventh. So that was the end of lap number six. And there is the red shell. So the red shell is voted for on uh, the Twitch chat. And as we come through a couple of guys here, so on the Twitch chat, for the YMTV uh, stream, so this was a, a live stream by YMTV, I'll speak about that in just a moment, uh, people will vote for who they want to get wiped out, and the red shell will just go flying into them and kill them. So the Master S787B is the red shell. It's a couple of quick cars driving around trying to kill us. So this this um, event is or was hosted by YMTV Racing. So for those of you who don't know who they are, they're a pair of commentators, so... Uh, Yachts and Mellish and you may well have seen them at the Forza RC Championships uh, if you watch those they're, they're very good commentators actually and they're, they're not just commentators they, they do host a lot of good events such as this I mean this this was honestly such good fun and pretty much everyone that did it really enjoyed it and this is just the first of two videos so I will bring you another one at Rio so do check out the channel for those or for that video and check out YMTV, uh, YMTV Racing because, I mean, they just make awesome content and they, they stream, basically they're the commentators for a lot of the ORL events, Tora events and uh, plenty of other Forza related events. So they're definitely worth subbing to and um, that's on YouTube and on uh, Twitch, by the way. So Twitch is where they mainly stream. And they, they do stream also on YouTube, but uh, Twitch is their main place. So... Um, obviously they're just uh, not really getting the rubber, the, rubber, the green, uh, losing a couple of positions. GTR Ted just in front of us again now, so I've lost out a couple of positions. And it's GTR Achilles in the lead as we just go past the limo. This is lap number 8, so still another 10 laps remaining after this one. Plenty of time left. Go for the takeout on Ted. He's become my victim today, but actually, I just fall victim to myself. Went for the takeout, killed myself. Lap number 10 currently in third place so we well i mean what the hell was going on there the limo was 45 degrees in the tunnel i, I don't think i've ever seen that before i'd like to see that in a formula one race at monaco if there's a limo sit, just sitting sideways inside the tunnel that'd make it very interesting because normally monaco is just a bore fest green green shell out of nowhere and just obliterates the pack behind me and the limo's on its side still really not sure how uh, skipping to lap 12, blue shell goes into a pole and just causes absolute carnage. A couple of people dead. There are two routes actually you can take here. So we're going to the left route, which is slightly quicker overall. But if you want to avoid some of the shells, go on to the other route. I'll try to do that later in the race. So lap number 13 now. It's still kicking off, but it's still fairly close up the front. Fourth place, sitting pretty in fourth. Not a bad position to be in, but we still have five laps remaining. I mean, this is turning into an endurance race. We've been going for 14 minutes and 20 seconds. So I'm actually going to go through into the lead here. Just going to... I was going to drop back there, but then these two guys actually just wiped each other out, including the red shell, I think, got wiped out there too. So I'm going to go to the right-hand side here, go for the alternate route. So there are two ways you can go on this track. So here's the other one, and here comes the blue shell. I've just got no chance to try to avoid him. Absolutely killed me. I think I've died about eight times now. I mean, if I was a cat, I've only got one life left. Let's hope that I can survive to the end. So coming up. Now this is where the two routes meet as we turn right here. And then we meet going towards the last two corners on the track. So now in third place. So still not a bad position. You just kind of want to be up the front, but not necessarily in first because you'll get killed by the blue shell constantly. Just going for the takeout. So I'm actually going to take the lead. Then the blue shell is going to come here and kill me go uh, chop off my front end basically but still fourth place but then coming through lap 15 that guy went absolutely flying it was like a game of snooker and I just 
just putted him right 200 miles an hour into the pocket. So that was a nasty contact. But here we go, lap number 18. It's the final lap. I'm sitting pretty in second place, an ideal position to be in as we approach the tunnel for the final time. And as we go in, GTR Achilles with a well-timed takeout. To be fair, he got that dead right. I'm not sure if he meant it. And I just cannot, simply cannot rejoin. I'm just, <laughs> just driving in the way of everyone. Just getting punted along the track like a golf ball. And again, and now I'm just getting flipped over. So that went from pretty much the best position to be in to now actually I'm in dead last. So I'm actually 14 out of 18, but the other four people are the shells. So I'm last out of all the drivers. And here's the limo. And I just don't really see him. Just to rub it in, really, the fact that I've gone from 2nd to 14th in the space of about 5 seconds. So really not a good end to the race. But, you know, it's just a laugh and it was really fun driving this. And uh, there will be another video around Rio Mini of all tracks. Rio Mini, yeah. That was an absolute mess. But coming around the final turn, we're going to finish in dead last. Yeah, not, not good at all. But it was really good fun. Really enjoyed it. And again, thank you to YMTV for hosting this event, so definitely check them out. They are linked in the description as we cross the line to finish in last place. Super GT, he needs to obviously get better at this game. I need to get my ramming game on a little bit better. But there you go, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this video. So tune in next time for the second part of the Mario Kart YMTV event. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.